Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be installing some bumper spikes or felling spikes or chainsaw dogs as they're often called. Several different names for them. These little guys that go here right next to the bar and chain on your chainsaws. We're gonna be installing these on the MS-170 and MS-180. If you'd like to pick a set of these up, you can do so by clicking on the affiliate link in the description below from Amazon. It'll help the channel out, doesn't cost anything extra. I just get a very small kickback on something like this. I'm just gonna get a few cents, but it adds up. We're gonna be installing these on the MS-170 and MS-180 here in the shop tonight. So it's a pretty simple process as you probably are well aware. This is the MS-180 here. I'm gonna take off the bar nuts. You're gonna to need to take the uh, bar and chain off as well as the cover, obviously, because you have to take that cover off to get to the bar and chain. Once you get to this point, you have a nice easy access to get these little screws in here to hold the chainsaw dog on. So this is a 532 seconds hex head Allen wrench. It's a Milwaukee screwdriver, but same difference. So we'll just put the screw on the end there. You'll face the dogs up, not down. So this would be backwards. This is up. And just go ahead and thread that screw into that hole. All right, I am able to get a pretty nice snug fit in there. This is just going into plastic. So be aware of that if you decide to do this to your chainsaw. All right, that's all there is to it. Nice and easy install. So let's talk about whether or not you really even need these things, these metal chainsaw dogs, because there's obviously some little plastic ones here on both the MS-170 and the MS-180. Um, the MS-180 has been around a few years. I've got a few seasons of wood cutting under my belt with it, and the MS-170 is brand new. I'm quite confident in saying that you probably can't tell over camera the difference in how sharp these plastic dogs are that are on here, or these plastic spikes are, but uh, feeling them and looking at them with the naked eye, I'm uh, sure if I had a better camera to come up. These MS-170 spikes are way sharper than the MS-180. Uh, when cutting through logs, larger logs, it is nice to be able to put these spikes up into the log and work the chainsaw down using them. Even with a saw with a you know 16 inch bar like I run on these things and as little power as they have. It is definitely nice to have them. I think that it's worth picking them up. And I think the proof is in the pudding, so to speak here, because these are fairly dull and these are fairly sharp, being brand new, never cut a log, and being used cutting tons and tons of firewood. So I am glad to be putting these things on. I'm glad to finally have them. I think they are worth putting on. So these spelling spikes do, obviously fit for both the MS-180 and MS-170, otherwise I wouldn't be putting them together in this video like I am. Uh, they came in a pack of two, so that was nice to have. You know, I might wear a set out here eventually, but if I wear a set out for one, I'm probably wearing a set out for the other two. So uh, remember again, you can use that uh, affiliate link in the description below and it costs you nothing extra to help the channel out a little bit. I'm glad to have these felling spikes on here or chainsaw dogs. Like I said, there's several names for them and uh, glad I finally was able to pick up a set to install. And the last step is to go ahead and put your bar and chain back on the saw. I probably should have mentioned this, but uh, definitely make sure that you put these spikes on on the uh, clutch side of the saw not the pole starter side of the saw. Chain's probably installed a little bit loose on there, but that's all right. So I don't know about you guys, but I think those spikes look pretty nifty on there. All right, guys, I think that'll pretty much wrap up this video. I definitely think this uh, felling spikes or dogs or bumper spikes, however you call them, uh, will be definitely a nice addition to have onto these saws. And uh, I look forward to getting to use them a little bit on my next wood cutting outing coming up here soon. Uh, once again, thanks everybody for watching. And if you haven't given this video a big thumbs up, make sure you go down and hit the thumbs up button. Helps out big time with the YouTube algorithms. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit subscribe, get more content like this. I'll be doing plenty of firewood cutting with the MS-170 and MS-180. 
and the MS-251 and Husqvarna 440 right there. Over the next few years, for the foreseeable future, really, thanks everyone again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.